Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your time. We are here at uh, Aero India 2023 at the Haryana Chalet with Honorable Sri Dushyan Chaudhala Ji, Deputy Chief Minister of Haryana. Sir, Haryana is on the, uh, you know, on the forefold of establishing the defense and aerospace sector promotion under your leadership. So, can you give us more? What are the See, Haryana, three years ago, started off with this dream project called Haryana Isar Aviation Hub. And in which there were two sectors. One was to develop a world-class airport at Hisar and the second was to develop an integrated manufacturing cluster for aero defense production. I think parallelly working on these two agendas, now Hisar has the largest land bank any aviation structure has in the country, that is 7,200 acres, in which NSIDC, Government of India, is all, PSU has tied up with state government and they are going to invest with us 1800 crores to develop the manufacturing cluster which will be plans are finalized and soon will be published for uh, further processes runway for the airport is complete taxiway will be completed soon cat 2 technology lighting will be installed by mid this year with all the latest equipments for weather navigation so we foresee by end of this year, Hisar will be connected to multiple cities by RCS or VGF schemes and also being so close to Delhi, Hisar has that advantage of being an alternative airport where Haryana, Rajasthan, Punjab and some parts of Uttar Pradesh can easily be connected by multiple expressway passing through the state. Haryana has been a land of opportunity. We have the third highest forex intake in the country. We have more than 250 Fortune 500 companies established in Gurgaon. And in the coming days, I think we see more corporates to come. And recently, the biggest venture which has entered Haryana is Tata's new venture of Air India. The corporate office has moved to Gurgaon. And we are in talks with them to develop a 20 simulator training institutes, training institutes for cabin crew and engineers. Also in future, to start an educational institute to train aeronautical engineers within our states. I think it's a land of opportunity and I request everybody through you also to come take a look at the plans at Haryana Chalet and in future, Progress with Haryana's progress. What are the incentives are you offering to the industrial sector, sir? There are two policies. One is Haryana Engineering and Haryana Enterprise and Employment Policy of 2020, which offers multiple benefits in various fields. But when it comes to aero defense production, we have the aero defense production policy of 2022, in which we are giving back 50% of the SGST. We will be giving special packages if somebody wants to come into R&D up to 5 crore rupees. If some patent is registered through that process, 100% patent reimbursement. We are giving 100% stamp duty refund if somebody wants to come in and purchase land and then invest. We have electricity benefits. We have local employment benefits up to 48,000 per employee if the employees from the state of Haryana per annum. So, I think if there are multiple sectors where any corporate can come in, drive the benefits of state incentives and also invest in the state. What are the other initiatives of handholding the small MSMEs for ecosystem defense and aerospace? See, we like have energy. one company which has come into SR recently, that is Jindal Steel with a tie-up of a Portuguese, com uh, Brazilian company. And now they are starting uh, weapon manufacturing, small pistol manufacturing in Hisar. So in the coming days, it becomes an alternative ground for everybody to come in 
and compete and as you have you have seen in the past that government of india also is putting a thrust on make in india and there are about 1500 new holdings which are collaborated between foreign players and indian manufacturers i think india is going to take the lead in the future what is the mro ecosystem when do you think is about It's too early to say that there is an ecosystem for MRO, but yes, we have kept provisions. If some interested parties would come in to build up infrastructure for logistics and MRO, we'll be more than happy to invite everybody to come in and invest in the state. And finally, what is your vision for our readers to say the Haryana aerospace and defence sector and see Haryana is booming. we have boomed in uh, multiple fields such as uh, car manufacturing we are the biggest manufacturers of automobile in the country we export 40% of india's automotive exports we are the second highest producer of clothing and footwear we have the best india could get in it technology in ites hospitality haryana has done a brilliant job and this is a virgin sector where everybody is looking forward to and soon we'll come out with a drone policy also in which if somebody wants to manufacture drone he'll also write the benefits from this